What up everyone? So this is going to be my first video of 2016 and after hitting 1000 subscribers. That is just so crazy for me. Anyway, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. So today's video is going to be about three ways to enhance your dancing skills. So shall we get into it? Let's get started. Number one, body language slash con okay, that's not slash okay. Slash confidence. You need to be straight, you need to have your back straight, your hips tucked in, and your shoulders rolled out and confident before you start your dance. I know we all have that feeling of being in our pants before going to the stage, but what's important is to not let it show on your face. Now let me give you a little bit of my personal experience. I am really into public speaking so I often give speeches in my school assemblies and stuff but then it's all alright because I have my teachers and friends that I see every day so it's not that scary but then once I had to give a speech on an inter-school uh, sort of stuff and I was effed up. So if they would have given me a podium I would have been like bomb. But then I had to take the piece of paper in my hand and I had to speak. So if you would notice this part of mine, I would be like super fab. Like you wouldn't be able to make out at all if I was nervous. But if you just concentrate in my hands, if you just see my hands, it would be like, it was totally like this. And I was hit by Parkinson's disease. So never ever ever let your nervousness get shown on your face because that ruins your entire performance. It's not possible to completely throw the nervousness away but we can suppress it and we can hide it. So make sure to do that the next time you go on to stage. Number 2. Costume, makeup, in short your entire presentation. Now this is something that is very 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 important yet which is something that is often neglected. I mean I know that I'm going to get comments below people saying that it's about the content. I totally agree with that. I mean, the content, what you make is really, really, really important. But it is equally important to give, pay attention, the right amount of attention to your costume and to your dress, okay, whatever, that's the same thing. To your costume, to your hairdo and your makeup because that enhances your performance. Like, you get extra marks for good handwriting, you get extra marks for good costume, good makeup and good hairdo. That doesn't mean that you need to be totally uncomfortable. So make sure to do your hair in such a way that it's all good and nice and looking sexy and attractive. And at the same time, it should be comfortable. It shouldn't be like... Uh, you know what I mean, I don't have words for that. Right? It should have a positive impact on your performance and attract those viewers. Let me share another personal experience of mine with my costume and hairdo. Uh, I was shooting my Sun Sakya video. Uh, the link will be in the description below or somewhere right here. I decided to keep my hair open for that video. And what happened is that it came all over my face and I was sweating and it was, it was just making the video a total mess. And uh, I didn't have anybody at that time to guide me with it. I didn't have my sisters and anybody to help me with it. Or I didn't even have extra clips or anything. So I regret that a lot because my face was not even properly shown in the video due to that. So make sure that your hair looks good and at the same time it looks appropriate for your performance. Number 3. Wait, did I press record? Yeah. Number 3. Versatility. Now, I am a classical dancer. If you are trained in classical, if you think you are really good in Bharatanatyam, that's great. I mean, try to make it perfect. Try to be the master of that dance. But put some attention, a little bit of attention into the other dance styles. I, I have a little bit of knowledge about many dance styles and I can tell you that that has helped me a lot. It has increased my flexibility. It has added more and more steps and knowledge into my brain regarding dance so it is like really necessary. I am trained in Hotria and Bharatanatyam but besides that I can do at least the basics of styles like hip hop, contemporary, jazz, afro jazz, bhangra, bihu, salsa 
and whatnot. So, uh, I mean, if you put up a dance style in front of me, I can at least show you one little step, and that is so cool, right? And there will be days when you would want to show people something different rather than what you do every day. So, I highly suggest that you should concentrate on your versatility, increasing your versatility. Make sure to check me out in Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter. Instagram and all that jazz will be in the description box below and do let me know if you like the video and even if you didn't just bear with me because it's not possible for me to choreograph I want you guys to comment down below what do you want to see next if you want to see Q&A videos tutorials or anything else just leave it down below since I have been getting a lot of uh, comments from you guys asking for tutorials and many other questions so if you have anything just leave it down below and I am surely gonna work on that if you like this video make sure to give a big thumbs up comment share and subscribe because you never know you might share this video and it might help somebody who is in need of it so that's all for now bye bye